In this module, you will learn about Kepler's first law of planetary motion. In the early 16th century, Johannes Kepler, a German mathematician, astronomer and astrologer, explained that planets revolve around the sun in elliptical orbits, resulting in the change in distance from the sun at various times of the year. Kepler studied the Copernican model that showed the Sun at the center of the solar system, with planets revolving around the Sun in circular orbits. He detected shortcomings in the Copernican model. Using the data gathered by his teacher, Tycho Brahe, and concluded that all the planets revolve around the Sun in orbits which were elongated rather than perfect circles. Based on his observations, Kepler propounded three laws of planetary motion, known as Kepler's laws. Kepler's three laws of planetary motion are the law of orbits, the law of areas, and the law of periods. Let's look at each law one by one. Kepler's first law, the law of orbits, states that the orbit of a planet is an ellipse with the sun at one of the foci. An ellipse is a closed, curved shape that is defined by two points, called foci, representing an elongated circle. The sum of the distance from a given point on the ellipse to the foci is always constant. In the given figure, A plus B is always constant. As you can see, in an elliptical orbit, the distance of the planets from the Sun is not constant. The closest point on a planet's orbit from the Sun is called perihelion, and the farthest point from the Sun is called the aphelion. When a planet like Earth is far from the Sun, the amount of heat reaching the Earth from the Sun is relatively less. Hence, we experience a cold season. Conversely, when Earth is nearer the Sun, we experience a hot season because more heat reaches the Earth. 